I think that about you. Really? You've got all the thing. You're smart. You're interested. You're curious. You've like got all the things <laughs> that could like <laughs> make you a good spy. But then you're just like an idiot. No. <laughs> then you're then you're just like. The recruit is so much fun. I just love it so much. Noah, you're a lawyer just starting his job at the CIA. And Laura, you're a former asset in prison. Guys, what drew you to these roles? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Alexi's writing was very captivating uh, for me. I love the tone. I like how it, the range of it, of being you know dramatic and, and crazy stakes, but also having a bit of levity and, and, and lightheartedness and comedy. Um, and Owen's character is just, you gotta love him. You know, he's kind of, he's kind of way in over his head and when things get tough, he kind of just doubles down and he's smart and, but he's also inexperienced and it's just fun. Not for me, there's a lot and the characters that he interacts with are just so great. Um, I was, had to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. For me, initially when I read it, I was just like, wow, who is this woman? This is like a, a once in every 10 years kind of character. Mm -hmm. And I just loved her and felt really compelled to move with her for however long I could. <laughs> so just, you know, did a tape and then crossed my fingers. Who put that your finger there? No one. I have classified CIA documents. You have documents? So many documents. Who pulled out your nail? An operative in Yemen. I went to ask her about you. Her, you know you give away information without realizing it. I'm surprised you survived your trip. It certainly doesn't inspire confidence that you're the right lawyer to help me get out of here. I am not here to get you out. Okay. I am bored. What? Tell your boss to call someone else. Wait, wait, hold on. Just... Hi, excuse me, one second. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss, please. Give me those documents. If you're telling the truth, then I'll help you. There, see? Was that so hard? Did you guys do any research into the spy world or how did you prepare for these roles? Watched all the Bourne films. Nice. <laughs> uh, Sick. Yeah. You listened to a lot of Russian. Um, I, I did. Like women speaking and stuff too, right? Yeah, I did. It's crazy. I just threw myself into the headspace of what it must have been like to survive, you know, to, to feel like you are born a survivor. That's a very different experience to my experience. And what does that do to a person? How do you move through the world as that? And that was really curious to me. Now I've got to pander a little bit. I know you jumped into the spy museum for a few minutes. Anything really stand out for you? Yeah, where you can hide stuff. Yeah. Where you can hide cameras and hide. Like the jewelry bodice, bodice. Of course, yeah. That was beautiful. Oh, Mata That was, that was yeah, so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, I felt like it would look great on me. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. Can it come out of that box or no? Maybe for no, no, no. no. I'll get in so much trouble <laughs> for saying that. Maybe, maybe it was good. Maybe for Noah. Oh my goodness. Well, what what's happening next for these characters? Can you give we us a know. little? Yeah, we don't know. We, Ask Alexi. You gotta, yeah. you gotta pepper, you gotta pep, pepper Alexi with these questions. He would know. All right, we'll do that later. Now, would either of you be a good spy? My dad <laughs> said to my son once, said to me about my son, he's got the perfect build to be a rugby player. Uh, he's got all the skill to be a rugby player, but he's too empathetic, mm. and he'd go in for a tackle. And then the guy would be on the floor and Pip would be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, are you okay in the middle of the game? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, are you okay? Let me help you up. And he'd be the opponent. I think that about you. Really? You've got all the thing, you're smart, you're interested, you're curious. You've like got all the things <laughs> that could like <laughs> make you a good spy, but then you're just like- a An idiot. No, <laughs> then, you're, then you're just like, ah, I just need to tell you everything, give you a hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I don't think I'd be a good spy. It's a, it's a rough way to earn a living. Laura, you? Nope. 
I think Laura uh, thinks she'd be a great spy. Well, yeah. she's playing it close to the cuff. Yeah. So. I, I think, though, like like with a lot of things in my life, I'd like to do it for like three months. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Try my, it out. <laughs> my last question was going to ask you about the rapport between your characters because it almost looks like Max Malazzi is about to become a dark guide for Owen Hendricks. But I'm kind of getting a sense about where the rapport of the characters comes from. You guys seem to have really good chemistry. Well, you know, it's it's a, a, a it comes from a place where they need each other. Um, they deeply need each other. Max needs Owen to get her out of prison and to return to her former life. And Owen, whether he likes it or not, is now chained to that result, right? And so if if he doesn't get Max out, and it, he doesn't know how to, so he needs Max to help him get her out. Um, his career is over, and his life very possibly could end. So um, that rapport and that, that chemistry comes from surviving, mm -hmm. I suppose, and like that that need to survive. It's, and then, of course, you can't help but kind of, I think, it's very intimate when you're dealing with things like that. So, of course, their mm -hmm. characters' relationships deepen from there. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to seeing where the story goes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you.